Mike Schmitz here with Oleg Balcherovsky of Gran Canaria. We're at the ANGT in Kaunas. Uh, just finished up your second day here. Uh, how do you feel that you've been playing so far? Yesterday we had first half game against Juventud. Uh, we came, we came here with the long trip. We lost our flight, and we are competing very good in the first first half. And later, I think we we lo we didn't have too much energy because of that trip, and we gave it up to them in last last quarter. Second game, we we were more more tired, I think, than the first one, and but we we win it because because we were like working all the game. And today we are playing with an Italian team and we are playing very good. Like we get rest in the hotel, we were sleeping all night and we get ready for this game because we didn't get any rest yesterday at night. And today we show like better that we are we are a better team. So we saw you here last year. Um, how have you developed as a player over the last year, since last year to now? Uh, last year I came here with the injury of my knee after getting broke, getting broke my leg. But I think I get stronger. I can compete at this level now. I feel very good. I was feeling very good in these first three games. I show myself, uh, and that's it. How has this the season in Gran Canaria been for you? Uh, we are uh, with Junior. We are playing in the fourth league in Spain with Eba, in Eba, and we are in the middle of the group, I think. And I was practicing with the first team too when Pablo Aguirre get injured. Uh, I don't know. I f practiced like one month with them. I get I get make my debut with Real Madrid. I get like I mean, for one minute to play, and later I play in Euro Cup too, and I scored two points in two minutes. There you go. Yeah. So, and then we came here. Yeah. So you did the basketball without borders in uh, Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, yeah, or Israel. Um, how was that experience for you? Oh, very, very good experience. Uh, compared to like the same like Jordan Brand Classic, yeah. both is like the same. And very good, very good coaches, like getting to know about like NBA coaches, yeah. different basketball, learning new skills from the best coaches and trying to show yourself like always. Will you, will you be playing in the, in the one in the States or no? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How would you, just for people watching this video who maybe don't know much about you as a player, how would you describe yourself? So... I'm 215. I'm the big guy, but I'm not like the same big guy. I think I'm playing more outside than inside of the zone. And I can do everything. I'm trying to do new stuffs, new skills, trying to do everything. Defending small guys, playing against small guys one on one, post move, three pointers, like trying to develop my game as good as I can now, like to be a complete player. Where do you, where do you think you are defensively right now? Uh, I can be better. I can be better for sure. But I see myself good. Like for sure, I can uh, get more blocks, get re get more rebounds. But step by step. Yeah. Some people will mention, you know, you as similar to Andre Pasetchnik's, you know, at the same age. Um, you know, obviously the club and do, any similarities there that you see and do you guys have a relationship? Yeah, we, we are speaking together when I uh, practicing with the first team, but I think he's more as a five for now. Yeah. You see yourself more as a four? Yeah, I see myself like more, more, yeah, like more, more, more as four. Yeah. Sure. Um, what about the na national team? Do you see yourself being involved in the, the summer or in the future? Uh, I was like now in the camp of the national team. I didn't play, but I was. It was great experience to be there. But yeah, I hope I come to there back in maybe in February. Sure. Um, how closely do you follow the NBA game, and how do you think you kind of fit into the way that it's evolved? 
I think it's evolving like in the way that the big guys can do everything. So I, I see myself, but I need to keep working. I'm not tr trying to think about that that much, and trying to keep work day by day, not not looking in the future that much because maybe they I I can stop because I will be oh I'm the best, but not prefer to work hard day by day, not in the future. If there's anyone who's kind of a mentor for you or helps you, you know, through day by day or long term stuff, who would that be? Uh, for looking in the NBA, or you, like, in your life, uh, I don't know, my teammates for sure, my father, yeah. uh, my coaches, those like uh, club, club, club for sure, yeah. the people around me. So, do you think you'll be able to get some first division minutes next season? And w what's your goal, I guess, in the future? Yeah, my my goal for now is to get the first team. How fast I can to practice with the the better players to get to get used to the way like Europe uh, Europe basketball going uh, to get more confidence because they're a player like playing 10 years yeah. they're stronger and I'm not for now not able to play there against those guys but I hope next year maybe if I'm going to work hard I can be able to play there. Sure. Well, thank you so much and good luck to you. Thank you too.